going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video and besides my calves, this video is going to be filled with tons of updates. The first being Ever Forward Apparel. We are in the new distribution center where all the orders are getting packed by the Alpha Elite distribution team. The reason we transferred over here is so we can now put our focus into things of growing the brand instead of packing orders which takes a lot of manpower and a lot of our time. Now obviously we're going to save more money going that route but we should make up that money and make even more growth for the business because we can put our time where it's necessary. And also, with the distribution center, you have a better structured system, there's barcodes, there's significantly less error, and they can handle crazy amount of volume, stuff that we couldn't do by ourselves. So, I think this is the best move for the business, and speaking of being able to use our time for better things, let's go see what Mona's doing. So besides the clothing moving to the distribution center, the team also moved to the distribution center because we're shacking up here until our new HQ is ready at Alpha Land, 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 Land. So check out myself and Mona's office. It's a wreck at the moment. Sometimes like you know you're about to move, so you're just like, I don't care. And we've been here for like three weeks and I really should clean up. It's a mess, don't judge me, okay? But uh, we have Miss Mona over here. How was the first launch? without having to pack an order. It was great. Or how was it without having to hire a bunch of people that a lot of them don't end up showing up? It was great. How is it gonna be that you don't have to deal with all of the like issues and returns and, and they can that can be handled by the distribution team? Even better. And now we can focus our time on samples and growing the business and yes. taking over the world. Yes. All right, see you later. Uh, besides the business changing, let me show you the house because the house is pretty crazy. All right guys, so a lot is happening. First of all, we got our shipment of all the black bath salt. That is all the pavers for the back patio upgrade. And we uh, decided just to go up. Dude, what's a budget? Dude, who needs a budget? We tore up the front and now we're putting the pavers in the front so it matches the back. It's gonna be so nice. By the way, uh, the birds, they were little baby birds. They flew away, they, they grew up, they flew away, right? Then they built a new nest and now those birds are just, just banging. And now there's new baby birds. Find a new home! And the inside is even more exciting. Look how open it is. The walls were up and now they're down. There's so much room for activities. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. I thought I saw my ex in there. Ha! Now, originally we wanted to take out all of this stuff, but there's a little thing called structural integrity. Like the ceiling was gonna fall down. I don't know. I still think it's fake. But we have to keep this little section in the stripper pole. So we're gonna make a little wall around this. It's not gonna be the end of the world. It's still gonna look lovely in here. And it looks even more lovely upstairs right now because things are getting built out of wood by the carpenter. Let's check it out. Now, in this game room where the pool table will be, we are gonna have like a little bar set up. So this will be all countertops so we can whip up a nice drink. Obviously drawers, cabinets, a little mini fridge. Look how nice this looks. This looks so nice. Check out the Jack and Jill bathrooms or Jack and Jack, Jill and Jill, his and his, his and her, her and her, I don't know, whatever kind of party you're into. These are identical in both of these. Vanities, super nice. Everything's getting like, last video there was nothing in here and now there's like wood. It's, this is, this is good wood. Like, what is that, pine, oak, I don't know. So we have a little 21 right here. And now this little seat area used to be a desk and now we made it into a bench. And it's gonna have handles, but you can, oh my fingers hurt. You can put like your feelings down in there. I don't know, whatever you wanna put. But I guess you would just, we put cushions and you would just sit here with like a cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know, maybe if you had like a journal you would write in it. I don't really know what you would do. Dear diary, Today when I was walking dude, a cute girl walked by and said, hey, and smiled as she passed. I thought to myself, what does this mean? Was she just being nice? Did she think I was cute too? Does she say hi to everyone that walks by? What if this is a sign and I'm supposed to talk to her? What if this is serendipity and that is my future wife? I'm not really sure what it meant, but either way, next time I'll be sure to walk the other direction when I see her. 
Also, dude ate someone's sandwich in the break room today at the office and then threw up aluminum foil. I really need to keep a better eye on him. So yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm probably not gonna use it, but it is a great use of the space. And even more exciting than all of this wood, I think the fence people are here right now, which means the dude protective gate is going up. Let's check it out. Check it out. It's a fence. Looks lovely. It does uh, fence things. They forgot two of the pieces. They have to come back and finish that. It was a couple extra hundred doll hairs to add in this gate. I originally thought about having it without the gate, but I was like, you know what? Just in case I want a gate, let's put the gate. And we can't have it open in because of the slope. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure if I'll ever end up using that, but look, all this space. This is all for dude. And then everywhere that's mulch is gonna be the patio. And then look at the progress they've made on the waterfall. So you can see they had to dig up everything and run all the piping. And then this is called a sheer descent. So it has three little spillways, right? Meow. And then the wall will get built over this and it's gonna look so lovely. It's gonna have like coping. I'm gonna turn it on real fast so you can see it. I can't turn it on for long, but just stay right there, all right? Hold on. Whoa, look at it. God, that pool is so wet right now. Look how fancy it looks. Like got to spend a lot of money before it was like all rocky and now it's like, oh, it's so cool. All right, I gotta turn it off. Oh my gosh, Max, your backpack is gonna look so cool. Oh look, Kane is here. Gotta give him a check. It's always, he only comes around when he needs some money. This is $6,482.20. What's this for? Bathroom tile and my vacation. It's like, get a house, they said. Renting is just throwing money away. All you need to do to save on rent is spend $200,000 on the renovation of a house and $100,000 down payment. And then you will save money, right? There was a budget at one point, you realize, right? Budgets are for nerds, dude. Yeah. I'm hungry, I want some spaghetti. All right. So I have been craving spaghetti for like the longest time and I just keep eating Chipotle over and over again. But uh, I decided to switch it up a little bit. So instead of the, I normally get angel hair, but we went with penne. Perfection in 11 to 12 minutes. <laughs> Wish I could last that long. Uh, and then for the sauce, instead of marinara, I thought it'd be cool to try out a creamy Alfredo. And then because we are on a diet, we are going with chicken instead of the typical beef. So it's like spaghetti, but different. All natural and lean. <laughs> it's like what every fitness influencer wishes they were on Instagram, right? Ooh, we need some Pam. Pam! Pam, Pam! Hmm. There's not any Pam! Pam! Hmm. Oh, there we go. Zero, 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 zero. I haven't done that in a while. I also can't wait in my new house because the island is going to have the cooktop on it instead of it against the wall. So then I can like cook in front of people and I know I don't do a lot of cooking, but I, I was waiting until I got a cooktop on an island, okay? So I can talk to my guests while I cook instead of like, <laughs> what are you guys doing back there? Okay, it took me 30 years to buy a house so I can start cooking. And my island is gonna be so huge. This one is seven feet. My new one's gonna be 11 feet. So that's like, like five feet more than this. It's going to be big! Do you know the real reason I don't cook? There's this much 
spaghetti's left over. Normal person, put in tubware, put in the fridge, eat it later. There's no point in me doing that because I'm not going to eat it. It's going to stay in the fridge forever. If I throw it away, it's wasting it. If I put it in the fridge, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, do you see the pickle that I'm in? So then you'd be like, okay, just don't cook as much food. Well, that makes great sense. Okay, but then the other half of the box of penne, I'll never use it. The other half of the sauce, I'll never use it. It's gonna go to waste. That's why I just don't cook. Because I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm not gonna eat the leftovers. I gotta go to the store. Gotta buy all this sauce. Gotta buy all this stuff. What do you think, Joe? I always put it in the container, and oh then like God. three weeks later, you're like, why the fuck is it still in the Yeah, we never eat it, we just put it in the container. I think there's so much, no, no, I had to empty it out, but like, oh. there's so much food in there all the time. And I'm like worried someone's gonna come back from the bar and be like, oh, dude, leftover cheesecake factory. I'm gonna be like, no! That happened. Oh yeah, no, a girl, girl was like, I ate the pizza last night, I didn't yeah. taste very good, and we're like. H.A. Domino's pizza had been in, our, been in our fridge for easily like a month. <laughs> like, I'm we're like, both <laughs> just like, what, what pizza is she talking about? Like, oh my God. It's just like, let's just not say anything. <laughs> I forgot who that was. It was one of the girls you had in town, I think. I don't know. Oh shit. Don't say that. Bleep all that out. <laughs> Six forty in the morning. I get up earlier normally, like six, six fifteen to prove that I'm grinding. Uh, dude, get a test of that. Dude, don't I get up so early, man? But sometimes I'm a, I'm a snoozer. I'm like a I'm like a not today, not today, not today again. And then I just keep snoozing. Then it's six forty. Then it's seven. <laughs> then it's twelve. Come here. Come here. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Are you excited to hang out with me today? You guys remember when I had a, uh, a dream about my ex-girlfriend and then I got a text later that she was getting engaged? It's like crazy how that works, right? Well, last night I had a dream that I was really good friends with Eminem and I was talking about like his songs and stuff, so. I'm just waiting for that DM today, like, hey Max, it's Shady. Wanna hang out, dude? It's gonna happen. By the way, dude, do you think we're gonna miss having a TV in the room? Because at the new house, it's just windows. Uh, we don't really use the TV. Uh, okay, we'll talk later. Who are you barking at? There's no one there. So I don't know if you guys remember when dude got trained by the dog trainers and he was spectacular. He like could walk right next to me without a leash. He would like come when I called him and he's like lost all of that and it's all my fault because I stopped keeping up with his training and I'm just like punching myself in the face that because now like he's not a bad dog. He's a great dog. You're a good boy, but every day he barks at people and he growls at people that come into the office, that like walk by a window and he's looking out at it, he like growls at them. And sometimes like people will be walking towards us and he starts barking at them and he has a really deep bark and he just like runs at them and barks at them and it scares them and then he like is gonna do nothing. He just runs up and wants to be petted. But I'm like, I just don't understand why he does it and there's nothing that I can do that has like rectified it on my end and I think he needs a uh, professional help. Like I, I think he literally just like, he just can't help it and I, and I don't know what to do. I've tried like, you know, being like, no, I try to tell him to like go to bed. I'll like kind of put my hand around his snout and I'll look him right in his eyes like right away. And I'm like, no, don't do not do that. I've tried like thanking him for protecting me. I'm like, thank you for letting me know that someone's there. And it's like day after day, after week, after week, after month. And it's like, dude, why do you do that, man? It's every day. And I, it's like, you just can't help it, man. Ugh. So I need to get the trainers back out here uh, because I just like, I feel like I'm a parent and I'm just like, why is my kid this way? Yeah. I'm scan the points. Thank you. Have a great one. Bye. Does anyone else just use the Chick-fil-A trash can at the end of the thing just to throw away all the stuff in the car? Yeah, me too. So you know how I'm a fiend for cash back points? Yeah, well, I'm even more so for Chick-fil-A points. I have 30,912. I can get almost 60 days in a row 
a chicken sandwich every single day without paying for it. I think I'm gonna save up my points until I can get uh, one full year, 365 chicken sandwiches in a row, or that means I could go on 365 dates. No, what's, what's half 365? One, 150 is three, one, 25 is to 50, 170, 178? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I could go on a date and we could both eat chicken sandwiches for free every single day for a year. It's gonna be lovely. Um, it's currently 8.15 and I'm at the house waiting for Home Depot to drop off my ice maker for the Magahita bar. Ice maker is two, it's like $2,200 for a little thing to make ice. And at first I was like, why? Why is it so expensive? Why? It's just ice, right? My fridge can make ice. Max, just walk over there. But then I did some research, okay? Not only can it make like 50 pounds of ice a day, that's lovely. Have you ever taken a can of delicious Pepsi, right? Not Coca Cola. And you pour it into a glass of ice from the freezer, right? And it just like bubbles up like a ton. The whole thing is just like the bubbles, right? And then you're like, go down, bubbles, go down. And then you drink it and it's like, oh, it's so flat. Um, and, and you're like, why? Like, it's so good in the, in the, in the can. Why would I put it in the ice? I found out. It's because the ice from the ice maker or the ice machine in your fridge, all, like how they're like kind of opaque. They're not clear. Impurities. It's air bubbles. Okay. It's the bubbles. It's screwing it up. But the ice maker, it's like pure. I don't have time to explain science to you guys. Just understand that when the ice maker gets here and we do it, I'm going to show you the difference. You're going to be like, oh my gosh. I can't look for I got ice maker. But I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the house content. Dude, you want a piece of chicken? Mm -hmm. Is that gross? I basically have a little baby bird. I eat it and I feed it back into your mouth. It's just easier to rip it off that way. Smash the thumbs up button. More videos coming soon. I wanted to make... I wanted this video to like delay a little bit because I wanted like more things to be happening in the house. But now over the next couple weeks, I know I say this all the time, but I mean, as you see, it's like shit's going down. Um, lots of changes. Backyard's going to completely transform. So excited. Thank you guys for the support. Uh, smash thumbs up button. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.